I think we talked about this <coughs> bit that I I wanted to use tampons because I danced and I, I didn't want anyone to know. I mean, particularly it was the thing that nobody must know that I had a period, yeah. though I couldn't wear a pad. Yeah. Mm. And um, and then later I got really, in, I wanted to know what the blood looked like. And I, and so I stopped using tampons and started using pads. I never, I didn't, was of, not of the generation of moon cups and things, but mm. I just really wanted to know much more clearly. And I, yeah. now I kind of <laughs> fantasise about just, not wearing anything and seeing, mm -hmm. just yeah. letting it come out. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've spoken about we that are, too. Yeah. I get a real satisfaction out of pouring out my moon cup. Like, I really <laughs> enjoy it. To the point, I wrote a poem about it and I've shared it in a couple of spaces and they've been like, you do what? <laughs> you pour your moon cup like out onto the bar so you can, like into the bathtub so you can see it? And I'm like, yeah. Or in the sink, or you know. Or I like watching it with the shower water. I don't know, it's quite nice. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made that. Like, mm. good job. <laughs> but it's fascinating, and, we, and Rosie and I were talking about this the other day, actually, so about the moon cup, which I've not, I've not, I've still not mm. tried yet, and I really need to. Um, I love it for many different reasons, but I'm curious about that sort of like what what that experience is of really like seeing how much mm -hmm. and. Yeah, there's definitely times where like clots come out and you're just mm -hmm. like, wow, yeah. what is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, okay, don't be grossed out by it. Like, it is just part of you. Yeah, yeah. and it's life, isn't it? I mean, blood is yeah, so full of life. It's yeah. amazing. Regarding the dance thing, I, mm. so I ended up speaking to a childhood friend of mine that I grew up dancing with. Mm. And it was funny because we had, I remember being really close with her and us both being like, what's going to be like when we get our periods? And <laughs> so I reconnected with her. And we were saying, isn't it funny that in a dance studios, which are predominantly female run and students, and it's a female space, mm -hmm. but there's so much um, don't show imperfections world. Yes. And so yeah. we all felt like, oh God, if my underwear is showing or my str the string from the tampon mm -hmm. or a pad, like yeah. the shame of that. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, but it's a female driven space, you yeah. know, and, and the ways in which we don't do that for each other yeah mm -hmm. i think that's so interesting and yeah. i i i don't remember i had an older sister and i don't remember asking her anything and mm. uh, you know not asking her for kind of advice or help and yeah my mum my i think my mum was good but she hadn't warned me about anything mm. yeah so she kind of expected i would have learned that at school i think yeah oh, gosh <clears throat> so i hadn't we hadn't had conversations about it. She had a kind of, she was quite practical about it, mm, mm. but not, we didn't talk about the emotion of it or, or no. what it was actually, yeah. what the point, what was yeah. the point? Yeah. No, I feel like only, <clears throat> only the last, you know, not so distant past have I come in to know more about, Yeah. I mean, I knew that it was responsible for making babies and all, the, mm -hmm. all that stuff, but it was really interesting talking to my mom about it because she said, she had this kind of, she was like, I'm not trying to make excuses. She's like, I know I didn't talk to you and your sister enough about what was happening. I, I did the sort of say nothing route, but it was partly because my mother, growing up in the 1950s, she's like, it, there was so much negativity around it and I didn't want to pass that negativity on. And so I think mm. in saying nothing, that was sort of like the only way I knew how to be, be progressive mm -hmm. and I just thought oh that's so fascinating yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and then you know and of course it's it is generational but it's also like you know what kind of world are you growing up in and Sue obviously you're in a more artistic world so like just thinking maybe that has something to do with being more open to mm -hmm. it not necessarily mm -hmm. but yeah yeah, yeah I, I, and I, I think it also I feel as if there was a kind of time where it was a bit confused <clears throat> about if you talked about it then you weren't embracing all the possibilities for women so women must not have anything mm. that impedes them right and mm. so you didn't talk about that because that was kind of giving ammunition to men yeah to, to, to suggest that you had more difficult times or you had this going yeah. on all the time or you'd be very emotional. Yeah. So you didn't talk about it in order to be a sort of super independent woman who could do anything. Yeah. And I think that's the change that I see is, is, you know, 
is younger women saying, yeah, I can do anything, and I have a period, mm-hmm. by the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yet there, there's this sense, and I'm curious, Bella, for mm-hmm. like your age and younger, there's going to be more of a freedom than in my generation that is just like, we are starting to unlearn that stuff. Mm-hmm. And a childhood friend that I was talking about was saying, like, I am all on board for we are becoming more open about this stuff. She's like, and yet there is still a part of me that's like, I don't know that I'm going to go run around showing you my tampons and I'm not necessarily going to talk about mm. that I have my period right now. <clears throat> because there's still this, partly because it's like, are you going to use this against me? Or right. have I just learned how to hide so much that I don't know how to unhide, <laughs> mm. you know? So mm-hmm. I'll be curious because I feel like I have that. Even in making this project, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm, it's inspired by the menstrual cycle, but don't worry, like, it's not going to be like bloody vaginas everywhere, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And what if it was, though? Well, what if it was? <laughs> <laughs> was he? A couple more days of shooting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> way more intimate yeah, now. Waving your tablet around. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 